First on Fox, possible justice and the murder of a former Lindbergh High School student. A plea deal is expected Friday in the murder of 21-year-old Ali Costell. Fox 2's Chris Hayes tells us about this sudden break in the case. Chris? Mandy, surely this murder case captivated people from St. Louis, where Ali's from, to Lafayette County, Mississippi, where she studied business at Ole Miss. After seemingly no movement in court because of COVID, now there's a guilty plea coming from her former classmate, Brandon Thiesfeld. Here's Thiesfeld's lawyer, Tony Faris. It's been approved by the Costal family. The charge of capital murder for which Brandon was indicted will be reduced to that of first degree or simple murder. Brandon Thiesfeld will be spared the death penalty in this plea deal. He'll now face a life sentence, but does have the chance for release. What's available to him is not parole, it's called conditional release. After serving 15 years, and if you attain the age of 65, you may petition the sentencing court for release. Ali Costell was about to enter her junior year at the university's business school. She's pictured here next to the man who will now plead guilty to killing her. The pictures were taken in 2016 at an Ole Miss sorority party. Costa was found dead in July 2019 near a Mississippi lake about 20 miles from campus. Police evidence included surveillance video of Thiesfeld and Costell together before the murder at a market near the crime scene. Police and federal agents later tracked Thiesfeld to this Memphis gas station about an hour drive north. Officers swarmed the parking lot outside and sources said they found blood on his clothing and a gun in his truck. Thiesfeld pleaded not guilty back then. We asked his attorney what's changed today. We've obtained full discovery. We worked very, very hard in, the, in investigating uh, the possible defenses available to Brandon. And then we were able to uh, uh, obtain a favorable plea agreement based on the facts of this case. Ali Costell's father posted on Facebook last month near the time of the two year anniversary of his daughter's death, quote, we do not anticipate any resolution through the court system for months. This might answer any questions regarding the status. We've appreciated all your thoughts and prayers. I reached Brandon Thiesfield's father by phone this evening, who in the past has said his son is innocent and to please reserve judgment. Tonight, he said, quote, leave me and my family alone.